Coming to the first question, dry ice is the solid form of what? The options are air, carbon dioxide, water and nitrogen. Yes student, this is very simple one. Yes, you are correct. The answer is carbon dioxide. So, the picture here you can see this is the dry ice and it is the common name for solid carbon dioxide. Okay, solid carbon dioxide. Uh, and it gets its name because it does not melt into liquid. And just like a normal ice, uh, it just melt into water. Na? So, this dry ice uh, does not melt into liquid. Instead, it directly changes into a gas and this process is called sublimation, right? So, they can also ask uh, what is the process called when uh, solid is directly changed into gas. So, the answer would be sublimation, okay? And since it is an ice uh, and it has extremely low temperature of minus 78 degree centigrade, it is often used as an alternative for refrigeration of food stuff and medical supplies right understood coming to the next question bleaching powder is prepared by passing what these are the four options chlorine over slate lime chlorine over cute lime oxygen over slate lime carbon dioxide over slate lime yes student and uh, this bleaching powder is a bleaching agent which uh, remove color from the substance okay and uh, yes you are correct the op correct option is option a chlorine over the slate lime okay so uh, this bleaching powder is commonly known as calcium oxychloride okay so if you see the equation this caoh2 this is your slate lime okay L calcium you can understood as calcium is lime and Cl2 is a chlorine. So, if you pass chlorine over the slate lime, you will get bleaching powder and water. And this is a bleaching agent uh, which remove uh, color from the colored substance and make them color. Okay. Understood? Glass is made of mixture of what? Uh, this is very simple one. Yes, student. Yes, you are correct. Sand and silicates. Okay. So, the correct answer is sand and silicates right coming to the next question uh, this is a important question students name the vitamin which takes part in blood clotting okay you have to name the vitamin which take parts in blood clotting this vitamin will help in clotting of blood so that uh, you your blood does not run out uh, again and again okay so the options are uh, vitamin e vitamin k vitamin d and folic acid okay yes student anybody yes you are correct the answer is vitamin k student uh, i would like to tell you to hold this video to pause this video and make this table in your notebook and remember this table this is very important table students okay so maximum time you will get one question from this table itself okay so for example that vitamin a uh, is useful for preventing the night blindness okay so deficiency of vitamin a will cause you definitely night blindness okay and uh, this vitamin k uh, it uh, deficiency it effect is what it reduces the clotting of blood okay and uh, the next important is vitamin b9 this uh, deficiency will create uh, one person will have anemia in it okay and uh, the important one is vitamin c what is the chemical name for vitamin c ascorbic acid okay hurt it by uh, your uh, heart okay ascorbic acid okay and uh, the deficiency of vitamin c is scurvy right and uh, the deficiency of vitamin d will cause rickets rickets is a uh, type of bone disease means uh, uh, there will be some standing posture issues okay so this table you should remember by heart students okay coming to the next question uh, this is very uh, 
डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन ओके विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट करेक्ट ओके स्टूडेंट नॉट करेक्ट जस्ट अंडरलाइन इट नॉट करेक्ट अबाउट वट वुल्कनाइजेशन ऑफ रबर मेक्स इट ओके सो स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड हार्ट कैन वुल्कनाइजेशन मेक्स रबर स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड हार्ट येस इट मेक्स स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड हार्ट Uh, it can withstand high temperature yes vulcanization makes rubber to withstand high temperature soft and flexible uh, it is contrary to option a so the correct option is option c soft and flexible okay chemical resistance anyhow uh, this rubber is uh, chemical resistance itself okay so uh, vulcanization is what vulcanization is a process of hardening rubber so the rubber which we get it from the tree that natural rubber which we call it as a latex if we add sulfur in it while heating that natural rubber converted into vulcanized rubber okay and uh, this vulcanization uh, term is derived from the word vulcan which means roman god of fire and forge okay so remember vulcanization is a process of hardening rubber and when natural rubber is heated with the sulfur if you add sulfur in natural rubber and heat it that rubber is called vulcanized rubber okay and uh, this is commonly used in making tires right coming to the next question sugar, sugar the sugar present in milk is called what okay so all these options are some type of a sugar but what is the pre what is the sugar that present in milk okay so yes student anybody want to answer this question yes you are right the correct answer is lactose remember lactose is the sugar which is present in your milk okay coming to the next question the number indicating the intensity of earthquake on richter scale ranges between 1 to 7 1 to 8 1 to 9 and 1 to 12 okay so this richter scale is uh, used for measuring the intensity of earthquake so the intensity range he wants to uh, ask okay so what is the range of that richter scale yes student anybody yes the correct answer is 1 to 9 right coming to the next question uh, it is uh, one physics question 1 kilowatt r is equal to how much mega joule okay yes student uh, we have to solve this uh, question uh, this is very direct question if you know what is what okay so let us see so uh, what is a kilowatt r so this is a commercial unit of electrical energy okay and the energy generated by kilowatt power source in 1 hour is 1 kilowatt hour so 1 kilowatt hour is 1 kilowatt per hour per hour means 1 hour so 1 kilowatt multiplied by 1 hour and 1 kilowatt kilo means 1000 so this is become 1000 watt okay and 60 into 60 uh, you have converted into second right so this total unit what per second okay what second it becomes joule so 66 at 36 3.36 uh, into 1 2 3 4 5 5 and you put one here, dot here so 10 power 6 and 10 power 6 is nothing your mega that is 10 power 6 okay so the correct option is 3.6 mega joule okay understood yes so the next question is temperature of sun is measured with which of the following device platinum thermometer pyrometer gas thermometer and uh, vapor pressure thermometer yes student uh, this is static question yes the correct answer is pyrometer so with the help of pyrometer you can measure the temperature of sun okay Ah uh, yeah, this is very uh, interesting one. What is the frequency of alternating current produced in India? These are the four options: 15 hertz, 50 hertz, 55 hertz, 65 hertz. Yes, student. 
yes you are right uh, the correct answer is option b 50 hertz but can you tell me why 50 hertz is chosen uh, for choosing this frequency of alternating current yes anybody okay do, uh, nobody knows okay let us uh, see so the frequency of ac current in india is 50 hertz okay in Europe it is again 50 Hertz but in America it is 60 Hertz okay so there is a story that uh, initially when the experiment was conducted in USA USA claimed that uh, the best efficiency efficiency is at 60 Hertz okay but simultaneously in a Europe as a competitive market what they do they build station that work on 60 Hertz okay that doesn't make a difference but uh, us is claiming that uh, 60 hertz will be much more efficient but europe made 50 hertz okay so what did they do they make all the electrical equipment which operated 50 hertz and since we know that we are uh, means ruled by the britishers so in this way 50 hertz frequency came to india okay interesting huh? yes Coming to the next question, one nanometer is equal to what? Uh, they have uh, given all the answer in meter. So uh, here it is meter, 10 power 9 meter. Okay. So whenever you encounter this nano word, uh, just remember it is 10 power 9. So it is 10 power 9 minus 9 meter. Okay. The correct option is option B. But if it is uh, say it is one millimeter, one milli is what? 10 power minus 3 okay so 1 millimeter is 10 power minus 3 meter 1 nanometer is 10 power minus 9 meter okay so the correct answer is 10 power minus 9 meter bronze is an alloy of what copper and zinc tin and zinc copper and tin iron and zinc yes student let us see one by one copper and zinc what is an alloy of copper and zinc yes brass is an alloy of copper and zinc right tin and zinc we have not seen okay tin and lead we have seen uh, that solder solder is an alloy of tin and lead right and uh, this bronze is an alloy of copper and tin right remember this bronze is an alloy of copper and tin and this iron and zinc again we have not seen but iron and carbon we have seen as a steel right student so the correct answer for this question is copper and tin okay so bronze is a alloy of copper and tin right the other alloys are stainless steel uh, this is again steel plus nickel and chromium right and amalgam that is the alloy of mercury and some metal and this amalgam is generally used in filling the dental portions okay and uh, this 22 carat gold it is 22 carat pure and two parts of copper and silver right student just uh, remember this table uh, this will uh, help you okay Coming to the next question, uh, which of the planet is nearest to earth, okay, uh, this is uh, related to solar system, which of the planets, which of the planet, not planets, which of the planet is nearest to earth, okay, these are the four options, uh, we know that the sequence uh, right now, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, so uh, earth is in between, so let us see the uh, the solar system uh, here we are as earth okay so venus and mars can be the answer okay uh, here we have two options now venus and mars but remember student venus is much closer to earth than mars and you must have heard that uh, we can see venus in the bright evening right so uh, venus is the correct answer okay Coming to the next question, uh, it is related to biology, most of uh, abundant blood cell in human body, okay, 
which is the most uh, abundant blood cell okay wbc rbc platelet and plasma cell yes student yes this is a very simple one that red blood cell your blood pigment is all 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 over wbc is also there but they are much less quantity as compared to rbc again similar with the platelets so the correct answer is rbc this is very important you just uh, remember this uh, question by heart an astronaut in outer space will observe the sky as what okay if uh, i am an astronaut if i am standing in the outer space how will i observe the sky okay the options are white black blue and red okay yes the correct answer is black uh, why this black uh, appears uh before answering this uh, why it appears black let us see why the sky is blue this coloring phenomena is generally related to scattering of light since there is an atmosphere uh, above the earth so obviously there are will be some particles okay and sunlight is there so when sunlight comes and uh, this uh, it reflect with the particles it scatter with the particle we see the color of sky as a blue but above the atmosphere there uh, is no light na so there is no scattering phenomena so ultimately we see black okay understood yes coming to the next question half byte is known as what yes byte is 8 bit right half byte is 4 bit so in other word 4 bit is known as what yes you are right it is nibble okay nibble remember 8 bit is a nibble coming to the last question uh, which we are going to see today which of the following is used as storage location in both alu and control section of the computer okay you this options uh, accumulator register adder decoder all these are storage locations for sure okay decoder is not a storage lo uh, location adder is again uh, not a storage location it uh, just uh, add the bits okay so coming to the register and accumulator accumulator is again a register but uh, it store the value for some temporary uh, time okay so the correct option is option b so this is the cpu so there is alu unit cpu unit memory unit uh, some cache memory and registers okay so this alu perform arithmetic and logical operation so addition division like this control unit uh, see all the operations uh, means overall flow between all this uh, things memory unit again it can be ram or rom okay so cache memory is the fastest memory which is inside this uh, cpu and registers are the storage locations okay so the correct answer is registers which of the following is not a noble gas okay which of the following is not a noble gas these are the four options yes student i uh, yes you are right uh, the correct answer is hydrogen hydrogen is not a noble gas students option b helium neon argon all these are noble gas right yes the correct answer is hydrogen coming to the next question uh, action and reaction act on what okay action and reactions act on the same body in opposite direction or it act in a uh, different body in opposite direction different body but in same direction and option d is same body in same direction so basically uh, this a uh, rule is uh, from newton's third law okay uh, what is newton third law to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction so that action and reaction takes place on different body and those action and reaction must be in opposite direction so student option b is the right answer okay 
different body in opposite direction right coming to the next question uh, yes student anybody can uh, tell this answer the first jet engine to be designed entirely in india is named on which river this is most important question okay uh, the jet engine which was uh, designed entirely in india was made by drdo and uh, it is named on which river yes yes kaveri is the right answer so that engine is named as a kaveri engine okay coming to the next question uh, work done is said to be zero okay work done is said to be zero when these are the four options yes students everything all right yes tell me the answer option b okay okay some are saying option a yes uh, both options are correct so the correct option is option c either a or b work done is said to be zero when uh, what some force is acting on body but displacement is zero work is said to be done only if displacement is there okay if there is no displacement no work is done and if no force is acting on the body and displacement take place then also work done is zero so the correct option is option c either a or b coming to the next question uh, this is very simple one what is the structure of human body called okay it is it skeleton bone body and option d none yes you are right skeleton is called the structure of the human body okay uh, this is also very simple one uh, the litmus paper is obtained from dash plant the options are moss lichens rose hibiscus uh, this is a uh, important question for uh, this uh, series yes you are right lichens is a correct answer it is a purple plant uh, from which litmus is obtained okay coming to the next question uh, this is again very important questions hypermetropia or long sightedness can be corrected by using which lens okay first of all you should know what is hypermetropia or long sightedness in hypermetropia uh, the people won't able to see the nearby things okay but he can see the distance thing okay and uh, this can be corrected with the convex lens you are right this can be corrected with convex lens but if i ask you how will you correct the people suffering from myopia that is short sightedness okay yes in that case concave lens uh, will be useful for those people okay coming to the next question the color of magnesium oxide okay the color of magnesium oxide this is a static knowledge uh, the correct answer is option a white so the white is the correct answer the color of magnesium oxide is white this is very important question students the structure of diamond is what it is a linear uh, structure or tetrahedral or octahedral or hexagonal okay yes anybody hexagonal no you are wrong the correct option is option b tetrahedral right coming to the next question uh, uh, we all know the well uh, g value that is 9.8 meter per second square this value of g was experimentally determined by which scientist okay these are the four option yes students yes uh, you are right option c cavendish cavendish uh, was the first person to uh, experimentally determine the value of g okay so the correct answer is cavendish this is very interesting question a metal 
which melts on palm or in other words you can say which melt on taking in hand what is the name of that metal potassium sodium zinc and gallium so this you can easily uh, just uh, see the option you can easily understand what will be the answer potassium and sodium you cannot uh, take it in hand right because it react with the oxygen and just burn out zinc is a solid substance so it generally won't melt so the correct option is option d gallium right coming to the next question uh, which one among the following doesn't have any effect on the velocity of sound this is also very very um, good question people generally say the temperature does not have effect on velocity yes student temperature have effect on velocity uh, if you see uh, the half rho v square okay Uh, that uh, atmosphere uh, it depends upon density and uh, density in turn depend upon temperature and pressure so the correct option is option c humidity so humidity uh, have no if, uh, that uh, velocity of sound that humidity does not have any effect right so in which of the following material sound of the uh, speed of the sound is highest okay there are the four options uh, you have to tell in which of these four option the sound of the speed is highest okay yes the solid thing the solid uh, material solid substance will have the highest speed uh, in the materials okay so here option d is a correct because uh, vacuum sound doesn't travel hydrogen is a gaseous form and glycerin is a liquid form so correct option is option d iron so in this question in electric circuit power is inversely proportional to this is a very tricky one and uh, generally uh, people do the wrong thing and this question is uh, actually uh, uh, not appropriate uh, to answer this question okay so the correct answer is resistance okay if voltage is constant then power is inversely proportional to the resistance okay coming to the next question uh, which among the following is not a renewable source of energy yes students yes wind is a renewable source of energy solar is also a renewable source of energy and we know thermal is also solar a renewable source of energy only biogas because it you cannot renew it of af, uh, after some time okay so this biogas is the correct answer coming to the next question what does the four finger represent in fleming left hand rule uh, you must have uh, read this in your uh, 10th and 11th class that there is a fleming uh, left hand rule to determine current magnetic field okay so you can easily uh, reject option c and d okay so there are two options which you have to decide whether it is a magnetic field or current for left hand rule four finger always represent the magnetic field okay and the middle finger represent the current right coming to the next question a dentist mirror is a convex mirror is it a cylindrical mirror plane mirror or concave mirror student uh, the correct answer is option d concave mirror so concave mirror is used in the dentist uh, uh, dentist mirror okay so the coming to the next question the light of sun takes how much time to reach to the earth this is very important questions yes student tell me the answer quickly yes the correct answer is option b 8 minute 20 second okay sunlight to reach earth is 8 minute 20 second right coming to the next question in a common dry cell electrolyte is what these are the four option 
yes uh, the common dry cell which you use everywhere and the electrolyte is uh, what yes students yes the correct answer is option c ammonium chloride okay ammonium chloride is the right answer for that coming to the next question name a metal among the following which has highest heat conductivity okay highest heat conductivity means which is able to conduce heat maximum okay yes uh, all the all these are metals they can uh, conduct heat but the highest one is the silver okay silver is a metal which conduct heat at maximum okay now which of the following is best conductor of electricity again all these are the metals you have to choose the best conductor again the correct answer is option uh, c silver silver is the best conductor of electricity also okay never forget students okay just note down okay coming to the next uh, uh, which of the given material has highest resistivity okay resistivity yes yes the nichrome is the correct answer which is the highest uh, resistivity all these questions are basically your static knowledge right uh again uh, this is the electrical resistivity uh, for this question electrical resistivity on the given option ebonite is the correct answer okay electrical resistivity is maximum for ebonite okay now this is a uh, recent news questions what is sagittarius a okay options are black hole zodiac sign group of star and none of these and uh, student most of the students which answer this question was wrong uh, they did zodiac sign but it is not a zodiac sign it is a black hole okay they have recently found that is it is a black hole one horse power is equal to how many watt this is very general question and uh, the correct answer is uh, right it is 746 watt okay coming to the next question it is related to drdo missile third generation anti tank missile okay prithvi is not an anti tank missile uh, it is surface to surface missile akash is surface to air missile trishul is again surface to surface missile so we are left with option d nag nag is third generation anti tank missile okay coming to the next question change in the velocity of an object per unit time that is velocity upon time is what this is very simple one yes you are right the correct answer is option d acceleration okay uh this is related to botany uh, dead long and narrow cell in a plant belong to which tissue yes uh, this is very difficult one okay you can uh, ignore such type of questions because uh, we, uh, yes you are correct the answer is sclerenchyma okay coming to the next question this is very important underline it okay wagdain is always positive is always negative can be positive negative and zero and can never be zero students always remember work done is can be positive negative and zero okay positive you are moving forward negative if there is a friction zero if there is no movement okay it basically depend upon your angle on which you, your force is acting right coming to the next question this is from chemistry identify the group which is not a debonair triad okay what is this dobrenier triad yes uh, the atomic mass of lithium and atomic mass of potassium the more, uh, this middle one will have the average of these two atomic masses okay so they are asking which of the following is not a, 
in the triad okay so this is a in diabonite triad this is also in triad this is also in triad but option b beryllium magnesium and the c are they are not in the triad okay coming to the next question the total number of groups in modern periodic table this is very important question groups and periods student there are seven uh 18 groups and seven periods okay remember there are 18 period 8 seven uh, periods 18 groups in the modern periodic table okay that horizontal columns are groups and these rows are called periods so there are seven periods and 18 groups coming to the next question the resistivity of the wire depend upon length area of cross section material and all of the above this is very simple one uh, this resistivity of wire generally depend on all these three options so the correct option is option d it should be option d <laughs> wait a minute yeah they are asking for the resistivity so resistivity only depend upon material okay it does not depend upon the length okay the correct answer is option c material now coming to the next question which of the following are not electromagnetic waves okay gamma ray x ray beta ray cosmic ray yes you are right correct answer is beta ray beta ray are not electromagnetic wave uh, okay All beta rays are not electromagnetic rays okay so gamma rays x ray and cosmic ray all these are electromagnetic waves okay coming to the next question uh, again this is uh, similar but options are different here alpha rays are not electromagnetic wave okay in this question alpha rays are not um, electromagnetic ray in the previous question beta rays are not electromagnetic ray okay uh which frequency correspond to ultrasonic waves okay ultrasonic waves are the waves which are greater than 20000 hertz so the correct option is option b 30000 hertz okay you can uh, you also know that what is ultrasonic which is above the human hearing range and thus it is not audible to human okay so the human ear can detect up to maximum of 20000 hertz okay so above that uh, range is called ultrasonic uh, frequency range and that is above 2000 so here the correct option is option c 30000 hertz what is the si unit of g g is a gravity of constant and uh, it is newton meter square per kg square it is option d okay coming to the next question uh, the density of water is maximum at which temperature this is static knowledge and most important yes the right answer is option b 4 degree centigrade coming to the next question four resistance of 16 ohm which are connected in parallel what will be the total resistance okay what will be the total resistance these are the four options you have to solve it student yes uh, let us see the solution part the correct answer is 4 ohm uh, so whenever uh, the resultant resistance of parallel combination it is always burned by r so there are four r uh, four uh, resistance of 16 ohm so 1 by r 1 plus 1 by 16 plus 1 by 16 plus 1 by 16 plus 1 by 16 which comes to be 4 by 16 and uh, which corresponds to 4 and ultimately resistance is 4 ohm right okay it is similar to the previous question but here they are asking in series okay so what will be the solution there are if there are four resistance which are connected in series if you add all these resistance that will be the total resistance of the circuit so here uh, the correct answer is option uh, b 16 ohms okay
thanks for watching if you like it uh, you can hit a subscribe button and uh, if you want more video let us uh, have some comments on the comment section okay thank you have a nice day